Honey badgers are known as one of the fiercest predators in the animal kingdom. But today, this honey badger is no match for my barbecue. We're making barbecue honey badger. It was difficult growing up in the mountains of Wisconsin. There were a lot of tough times there. It was always a treat though when Pa would come home from a long hunting trip with a big old burlap sack full of honey badgers. Once you have your honey badger ribs all cleaned, it's good to have them marinating in something. I like to let mine sit in a vat of cherry cola overnight or for at least a couple hours. It lets a lot of those sugars get into the rib meat, adds for some excellent flavor and caramelization once we get it out to the grill. Here's how I like to make my barbecue sauce. It's a lot of reducing and then adding in more ingredients, so keep that in mind. I start out with some fresh cherries, if you have them. If not, canned or frozen will work just fine. Add in some garlic to a pot as well. Let it all kind of simmer together for a little bit. Add in your other flavoring agents. I like to use some liquid smoke, some Worcestershire. Also, a little bit uh, of sriracha chili. Adds a little bit of spiciness to it. Stir it all up, then add in some root beer. Root beer is another nice flavoring agent, that sarsaparilla. It all kind of reduces down, adding a really unique flavor to your barbecue sauce. Make sure it gets down to a syrupy consistency, then add in your ketchup to thicken it up. Again, stir it up, add in any other flavoring agents you like. These are some of the ones that I like to use. Let it reduce down, adjust flavoring as you go, salt, pepper, any other seasonings you want to go. Once you have the flavor you like, take it off the stove. Then, Get your honey badger out to the grill. Yes, a good honey badger on the grill is absolutely delicious. Baste it with some of that barbecue sauce and let it grill low and slow for a couple hours on low heat. Continue to baste it in the barbecue sauce over the course of the grilling time. Once it's completely cooked, take it off, one more basting of the barbecue sauce, and you are good to go with some delicious barbecued honey badger ribs. Serve up a plate of these ribs at your next gathering and you'll have everyone saying, damn, that's some good honey badger. You think honey badger gives a shit now? <laughs>